Hey YouTube peeps, Sherry the real Share Bear here coming at you August 14th, 2014 from the semi-panoramic Chill Howie Park here in beautiful Knoxville, Tennessee. That's right. For those of you astute, attention-paying YouTube video watchers, I said Knoxville, Tennessee, and you might be saying to yourself, but Share Bear, didn't you say last week you'd be coming to us from your car on the way to Atlanta to catch a flight out to LA for OH? And I would say to you, yes. Yes, I did say that. And that didn't pan out this week. That's the story I have to share for you this week. But first, let's dive right into the numbers. My high weight was 353 pounds. Day of surgery, 333. Last week, I came to you at 270 pounds after a two pound loss. This week I come to you at 268 pounds for another two pound loss and I believe that's a total of 85 pounds if I'm not mistaken. But that is not the story of my week this week YouTube. That is just the business we had to get out of the way. Um, Coming to you in my brand new shirt I was going to debut at OH. Coming from Christina Guzman, the t-shirt lady. If all of you guys want to hit her up, if you're interested in commemorating your journey in t-shirt form, she can hook you right up. And yes, I did fudge my weight loss on there because it's no fun to put 80-something pounds down on a t-shirt 100 looks much better anyway so last week i talked to you guys about having gallbladder issues and i continued having trouble with my gallbladder um it got to burning every time i bent over and i just had a feeling that i might be in for some trouble if i waited to have surgery until after OH. So I went ahead and went in last Saturday to have it out thinking that would give me plenty of time. It's simple surgery, easier than the VSG by all accounts and I should be out in plenty of time and feeling well enough to travel to go to OH. So I went in on Saturday First of all, I got busted by the doctor, the surgeon I normally work with daily, having my surgery by another surgeon, and he was really pissy with me. So that's how I started out my gallbladder journey. <laughs> got busted by him, but had my gallbladder out. Had a lot of small, sludgy stones, uh, she said. Um, in my gallbladder and she was afraid that they might slip down into my common duct and cause me some more problems so right away she um, referred me to a GI doctor who started talking about an ERCP and that is fighting words for me because that's the surgery Lisa had that nearly killed her and made her lose the bulk of her pancreas it went necrotic, turned her to a type 1 diabetic, nearly killed her. So they started talking ERCP, and I was like, eh, I think not. Not happening. What's the next plan? And Lisa said, well, isn't an MRCP just as good diagnostically to see what's going on? And then we can take it from there. An MRCP is like an MRI of that area of the body. And so... They went ahead and did one of those, which was kind of inconclusive, a little blurry. 
um, but they just held me in PO, and I think I passed a stone um, Sunday night through my common bile duct because I had some really severe pain, but it was just transient, thank goodness, um, and it passed after that, but she went ahead and said, no, you're not going to be able to go on your trip. I'm sorry. It's just not going to be safe for you to travel because she wasn't sure how much trouble I would get in uh, with passing stones through my common bile duct. And you can actually die from that. So she didn't want to mess around with it. And I felt a lot more compliant while I was in the hospital today when I'm feeling better and I'm seeing all these posts of all my friends online talking about traveling to LA today I'm feeling a lot more bitchy and resentful and a lot less compliant and wishing I hadn't canceled my flight <laughs> and I could sneak and get on it and go but anyway um, but everybody online was super supportive um, I got a lot of love from people on Facebook. Um, actually got hit up by Sarah Nerd in Oregon for the first time on Facebook. What's up, girl? My homance sister. She actually coined a new term in honor of our love affair, the homance. And yes, people are jealous of it. Yes. There was one less of Sarah trying to get in on some of that action. But Sarah said no. Nay. It's just for me and my new homance girl, the real share bear. So, sorry Sarah. Less of Sarah. You can't get in on all this action. And I like a forceful girl. So, that was really cool. I have no idea what prompted Sarah Nerd in Oregon to reach out to me, but it meant so much and it really cheered me up. Maybe that's why, because she knew I was in the hospital suffering from bad gallbladder problems and that prompted her to reach out, but it was super cool. Um, I had a lot of people showing me love, like I say, sending messages, private messaging me, checking in with Lisa. Billy was really sweet and was messaging back and forth to Lisa and um, got home from the hospital yesterday and had a package waiting for me from my big adventure, Leanne. Sorry, I'll scan in. She sent me some of the jewelry she makes. This is one pair that I'm flaunting for you today. I love the earrings you sent me, Leanne, and um, hopefully we'll drum you up some business here. Girls, don't hate, appreciate. This is the other pair she sent to me. So that was a wonderful pick-me-up to come home to yesterday. Um, Lisa is working all weekend, so I'm just kind of winging it. On my own, I was going to be making my maiden solo voyage out to the West Coast this week, but medically they said that wasn't a good idea, so now I'm just hanging out in town here and winging it on YouTube. I hope this video is not too disjointed for you guys, but... Like I say, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. Uh, really super envious <laughs> and super sad, mostly. But I can't be with you guys. Hopefully, we will get to FaceTime. I'd like to hook up with some of you guys that are going to be out there. Sorry, I'm getting all emotional now. I didn't plan for that. <laughs> but I talked to Finding Elizabeth, and she said there was a possibility of us uh, maybe FaceTiming with a group um, that she's going to be picking up later. And um, sorry, this community means a lot to me, as you can see. 
So, I guess I'll wrap it up because I'm getting really rambly now. But, um, hopefully I'll meet you guys down the road somewhere. And, uh, have a great time. Talk to you guys later. Bye.